Hello, I'm Paul Seven Lewis and welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. And in this edition, I'll be reviewing South Pacific at Chichester Festival Theatre. And yes, I've got a programme. I've actually been to a live theatrical performance. I'm sure it wasn't simply the euphoria I felt at being back in a theatre, but this Chichester production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's South Pacific filled me with joy. South Pacific was written in 1949 before Rodgers and Hammerstein settled into their and their audience's uh, comfort zone. Uh, it has all the features of their best work, uh, features they in fact pioneered, um, one being the use of songs to reveal character and feeling and move the story on. For example, take the many different ways and uh, therefore implications in which some enchanted evening is sung at various points during the show. And as was their way, the composers packed this musical with the most wonderful songs. The Cockeyed Optimist, There's Nothing Like a Dame, Bally High, I'm Gonna Wash That Man Right Out of My Hair, I'm In Love With a Wonderful Guy, Younger Than Springtime, Happy Talk. Well, these songs are part of our DNA. And another feature is realism, seen both in the character's behaviour and Hammerstein's down-to-earth lyrics. Top marks to director Daniel Evans for keeping this production so grounded. But what makes South Pacific stand out in the Rodgers and Hammerstein canon is that Hammerstein was determined to face racism head on in this musical. Well, that's my one minute review. Keep watching for more about South Pacific at Chichester Festival Theatre. Now, you'll remember it's set on a Pacific island uh, during the Second World War where American GIs and nurses interact with local people and a nurse falls in love with a French plantation owner and a lieutenant with a local girl. There may be effervescent melodies from Rogers that fill you with warmth, but there's also a story that pits love against hate. Love first undermined by acquired racial prejudice before it finally triumphs. And at a time following England's Euro final, when we've been reminded of the overt racism that still shames our country, it was uplifting to experience this powerful anti-racist musical. I can't fault this production. Daniel Evans has done justice to the seriousness that underlines the musical's cockeyed optimism, and it feels like the perfect tribute to the passionately anti-racist Oscar Hammerstein II. Happy Talk is no throwaway comic song here, but a poignant moment of desperation. And the director supported by an excellent cast and creative team. The two leads, Julian Ovend and, and Gina Beck, are superb in both voice and acting ability. Ovenden as Emile, the plantation owner, conveys both an overflowing heart and a broken heart with equal conviction. Beck also runs a range of emotions as naive Nellie Forbush from Little Rock. But she's never better than in I'm in love with a wonderful guy, which overflows with almost childlike exuberance. And from August, Alex Young will be sharing and then taking over the role of Nellie because Gina Beck is pregnant. Others also deserve a mention. Uh, John Ample as Bloody Mary, believably vulnerable below the tough exterior. Um, of the GIs, uh, Rob Hutchin as Lieutenant Cable has a beautiful tenor voice, which is more than a match for the soaring heights of Younger Than Springtime. And uh, Keir Charles stands out as the scheming but ultimately compassionate Luther, compassionate Luther Billis. Uh, one of the qualities of this musical is seeing the Americans' wide-eyed confidence come up against the realities of racism and war. The choreography by Anne Yee is magnificent. Uh, sometimes she fills the stage with exhilarating choruses. Uh, she manages to make the men singing There Is Nothing Like a Dame seem respectful. And in a scene that Busby Berkeley would have been proud of, the women take to the showers while washing that man right out of their hair. And then there are the quiet moments, like the solo ballet by Sierra Mahera uh, that opens and closes the show. The see-through revolving wooden sets by Peter McIntosh set the mood of Pacific Island life while leaving the stage open for the big numbers. And I can't forget the superb orchestra led by Cat Beveridge 
uh, featuring the original score with some new orchestration from David Cullen. The glimpses of repeated melodies throughout the show do exactly what a musical should do, evoke complex feelings that words can't express. And finally, a word of praise for Chichester Festival Theatre, uh, who were terrifically well organised and made us feel safe back in the theatre. And from the rousing cheer that featured the first moments of the show, I'd say we were all pretty pleased to be there. I give South Pacific at Chichester Festival Theatre five stars. And you can see it there until the 5th of September. And if you can't make it to Chichester, selected performances are being streamed. If you'd like to be the first to hear about my future reviews, please subscribe to my channel One Minute Theatre Reviews. And if you want to read my reviews, visit oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching and take care.